What's up, fight fans? I'm Jay Cotto, and welcome to Jay Cotto's Fight Page. And, uh, well, I had to make this video simply because I've been noticing that we have some Manny Pacquiao haters. Yep, that's right. I'm going in. Hashtag Hall of Justice. Now, after an impressive victory over Timothy Bradley, a five-time world champion and a number two to number three ranked pound-for-pound -pound fighter, there have been certain fighters in the sport trashing Manny Pacquiao. First, we have Paulie the Yak Malinaji. And, uh, well, Paulie the Yak Malinaji always, alongside Teddy the Banshee Atlas, had always accused Manny of being on something. As well as Mayweather Sr. and Jr. and a whole band of fucking following idiots. But now, his obsession and hate shows. He now says there's no proof of Manny having surgery on his shoulder because he doesn't see a scar. <laughs> Yuck. Yuck. You know, this is 2016. Everything is done by microscopic surgery. You bumbling fucking idiot. The hate you have for Manny is so fucking evident. You came up short in your fucking career, you and many others, you and Teddy, Atlas that is, should get together, let him train you, and then get in the ring with Manny, you fucking wombat in the face looking motherfucker. Before you got that smear campaign check that you keep getting as well, you kept on with telling the truth after Brona fucked your side piece and took your belt. Now you bow and bend. Just face it, you will never, ever, ever, ever be as nice as Manny Pacquiao. Now, we have hater number two, the prize fighter from Vegas. Now, this motherfucker is in his feelings as he goes on FloydHype.com and says that he had the Manny Pacquiao Tim Bradley fight close. Then he said, you win some, you lose some, which fucking means that he did lose money yesterday. He seems to not understand that he has come up short as well as the Big Bang, okay, that he went out on with Berto was mushroom clouded by Pacquiao and Bradley 3's big boom match yesterday, okay? To say that the match was close by yourself, the boxing genius, the savat, etc., etc., your judgment sure was fucked up and clouded by your fucking hate. And you continue to trash Pacquiao along with your little fucking dominion. But... You just don't seem to realize that Manny has done well and is well respected and even more than you. You won't rematch the man and, uh, you know, you swear you won the so-called hugs of the century match. The guy wants recognition for not fighting hard, in which is ridiculous. And to even show more proof of Floyd's fucking hate. Here we have Manny winning a strap. As well as Bradley, I mean, I'm sorry, as well as him breaking a record on Bradley. Before even judging, you just have to see that if you've seen this winning a strap, fighting a number two, number three pound for pound fighter, you know, also breaking a, a record. That's awesome. And you can tell that. For him to actually continue to call this match a mediocre match and you had it even, very biased and hateful. Jealous as well. But hey, you decided to use Vegas, 
the WBC Saline Heredia Ariza. But on top of all of that, you still, and he still will come up short. But hey, you've got money, right? So Scrooge McDuck and Paulie the Yak Malinaji. Stop the hate. Manny is better than you guys. Anything you can do, he can do better. Hashtag come back to boxing. Hashtag respect legacy. Hashtag the whole of justice. I'm Jay Cotto. Thank you for joining my fight page. God bless. Stay vigilant.